so as you're in high school, <clears throat> what did you begin to learn that you didn't have exposure to? Obviously, you played sports, so you had exposure to, you know, the things that sports brings you, right? The women and the girls and, you know, the, the, the coaches and the, you know, potential opportunities to go to college and so forth. But then did you find out in high school that there were some things that you wasn't exposed to because you blew, you did grow up blue collar? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, just reading books. Like, yeah, I made you figure out there's a lot of stuff that you don't get exposed to. don't know what it's like. Mm. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot you didn't get exposed to. Mm. Uh, it, and, uh, I knew, I knew early on, uh, probably as a freshman, sophomore, I knew that sports was just not going to be, you know, something I relied on for the future. Mm. So, it, you know, it wasn't, a, I just played to have fun. Like it, it wasn't, I didn't, consider a future, in, you know, going to college and playing football. That was just, you know, just looking at the run of the numbers, you figure out, you, you get to see such a small percentage of, you know, players actually make it to the league. And sometimes not even the best players make it. So, you know, I just, I was just, you know, working the numbers and, and doing the probability. So I was like, eh, that ain't, that ain't for me. <clears throat> but, uh, man, about a year, probably my sophomore, junior year, I signed up for uh, enlistment in the Air Force. Uh, a lot of, uh, history of family, people going to the military, uncles retiring, cousins, uh, grandfather. He was in World War II, I believe, in the Navy. <clears throat> so uh, my family, military wasn't, you know, it was a, it was a good career choice to, to start out with. Plus, I really didn't know what I wanted to do growing up. Uh, like, I, there's so much. I wanted to be a truck driver for, I, I, man, probably, I still do. <laughs> That's a same career, maybe. <laughs> Just get the truck and hit the road. Like, you know, I know how to work, get through the gears, double clutching, and all that stuff. So, you know, all that stuff I'm very familiar with. So, uh, signed for the military. And uh, the funny thing is, a lot of catching up to do. I had the closest thing we had to tech was, I think, a typing class in high school. That was about it. Like, you learned how to type. That was as close as you got to tech uh, in the high school I was in. If I can remember correctly, I had only been on the internet maybe twice. Like it was, I didn't care about the internet. Like, it, you know, so what? You can send somebody a message in another country. I like, I, it just wasn't a thing. Yep. <clears throat> but signing for the military, took the ASVAB test, scored pretty high. Got to choose pretty much any job that I wanted. I ended up picking a, a, a tech job. I had no idea what it was, but it sounded different than anything I was doing or aware of, or aware of. So. I signed up for it, and uh, that's kind of the my start in the tech. Like, I just got dipped in it. Like, I had no idea what it was. Like, most people kind of had an idea of what programming or, you know, computers and that stuff. I, I had none of that. No, I knew how to get on the saddle and catch some horns on the steer. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> so, that that's why, I, man, I had a lot of catching up to do. And, and talk about so, this, Damien. Like, so, so obviously you you enlisted to the Air Force, right? And you, what job was it that you chose when you first went in? Like, and and talk about you know building, um, you know those tech skills and, and some of the things that you did. <clears throat> yeah, it was a two e two was the AFSC Air Force Specialty Code, uh, but uh, and then it depended on where you got assigned to to what you're really doing. <clears throat> so. Signed up boot camp. I went to tech school in Mississippi for uh, 10 months. And then my first assignment was in uh, Missouri at Whiteman Air Force Base, home of the B-2. <clears throat> at that time, people from Texas have horrible geography. I had to look on the map to see where Missouri was. Oh, where the hell is Missouri? <clears throat> I thought it was going to be horrible, man. I was trying to switch assignments. I was trying to tell the dude that had an assignment in uh, um, Louisiana. Another guy had an assignment, I believe, in, in – uh, Japan. I started learning Japanese a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I learned how to ask for a fork, kudosa sufuko. Uh, <laughs> I started learning Japanese because I was wanting to go. I didn't want to go to Missouri, but ended up going to Missouri. It was a really good assignment. Home of the B two, uh, supported the B two from uh, from the base there in uh, Missouri. But uh, when I I got there, I was assigned to the NCC, the Network Control Center, and there they start you out on the help desk. And then moving to desktop support. I also got to do a little bit of system administration in our little data center. 
but I finally made it over to where I, you know, where I was supposed to go. And, uh, <clears throat> that was mostly, uh, the network team. So that's, that's kind of how I started networking. So I was doing networking and also working on, uh, missile launch systems. <clears throat> wow. So that was my uh, introduction in networking. So, uh, it was, it was a world that I was just so unfamiliar with all that stuff was just so unfamiliar. But, uh, man, I had to hit the ground running I, every day. I was at home studying, uh, you know, I f- bought my first computer, what I was, it was expensive back then for somebody, you know, just starting out in the military. But, uh, yeah, I had to hit the ground running catching up. Cause there's a lot of folks like that was already in tech, like, you know, from school or home, like they already knew a, a bunch of tech stuff. I, I knew nothing about wow. tech. <laughs> wow. Wow. And, and, and while you were in it, Damien, <clears throat> you know, you, I'm assuming you, you, you basically thrived at it. That's why, you know, you continue to, you know, thrive in your career. Talk about your, your progression of, you know, learning and also, you know, being able to uh, advance within the military as well, too. Yeah. So during, uh, Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom, I was, you know, shortly after 9-11, or 9/11 uh, I kind of got attached to an intel unit to help support the war efforts. And uh, that was about as close as you can get to war without being on the field. So I saw, you know, having a top secret clearance, I got to see and do a lot of things as a, I was 22, 23 years old. Like it was, it was, I think about it now, it's incredible uh, what they let me have access to and, uh, you know, support. But uh, while in the military, I got promoted pretty damn fast. Uh, I wasn't messing around. And that's, I kind of noticed that about our people. Like, you you know, there was some of us hanging around at the bottom, but for the most part, we, you know, we was getting it. We was trying to get to the top. Mm. Uh, I got promoted to NCO. Uh, that's non-commissioned officer. That'd be your first level of management about three and a half years in. And wow. I was, at the time, that was as fast as mathematically as you could get promoted. Wow. So three and a half years in, I started managing troops. Uh, one was he had even been in longer than I had. So that's kind of where, uh, you know, they're seeing through this management training and it, it's, it's pretty, uh, it's really good training <clears throat> as far as management and uh, how to do build teams and all that good stuff. But, uh, that, that was, that's where my actual management, uh, experience started, you know, my early twenties <clears throat> and back to the tech, tech stuff like you know still doing a bunch of network stuff I, while i was in the military i got to complete my associates as the electronic systems technology something like that <clears throat> but also got a ccna i think 2002 oh, wow. uh, i like networking so much that you know i just dove in i took a router and a switch home got a couple of study books and uh ended up getting a ccna in 2002 wow like so much the next year i started studying for the np and uh, I got my CCMP in 2003 while still in the uh, military. Wow. So, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, so, so networking was, was your, <clears throat> your skill set and something that you did because, you know, you think about that now, you know, that's a, a great, you know, field to go in in the tech, right? Where, you know, people want to get into the networking game and also that bridges to cloud as well these days, right? A lot of people who go into the networking space, uh, they go into cloud. 